vlog yeah. I'm here and we have Princess. Ooh. Hello. Hello. So God work in mysterious ways. I was outside looking for lashes. And Princess was outside looking for someone to catch these motherfucking hands. Bitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna let Jesus, don't I'm gonna let Princess tell her side the the events leading up to how the fuck she ended up in Hollywood. It all started when I, when I was I, born. <laughs> it all started when I woke up. Right, I do my daily praise. God is good. I'm alive. My head. Y'all gotta be thankful. So. Life be happening, guys. It be happening. Life be life. Um, I got onto the red line to go down to Toys Me Station, right? I was gonna go pick up some weed. I already had some, but I said, hey, I can get some more. Right? I deserve it. I pay my taxes. Said. Yeah, right. Damn it. But nah, for real. Hey, I got onto the train, and matter of fact, even before I got onto the train, I got down to the platform. I seen this lady. I got down on the platform, right, at Universal Studios. She was already talking so in the whole of I ain't know her, ain't none of my business as you. Change the Tell me why. She gonna turn around, she already cussed this shit out, right? She come to me, she like, like cut it towards me, I'm peeping it. My hands in my pocket. I got my bang on me. She like, oh, so you wanna fight? Mm. And I looked at her, I said, I did because I'm just like, not today. <laughs> so this is what I did. On my grown woman shit, I literally just backed away and relocated to the next. You feel me? I ain't even about to give you the energy. Because you know, when you meet these crackheads, they be like, you feed them energy. And they feed off that shit. Yeah, they like you got to ignore them. Because then really they be like, it. all right, they're not fucking with me. Is it something about it? Now, I'll mind you, I'm ignoring these demons as well. They're not just cracking, these are demons that they attach. I don't care what nobody else say, I'm, I'm a stab Oh, for that. sure they're, they're demons. They're like, something, they're, they got something. So, I'm all right, that's why I'm like, I'm not finna entertain it, not finna fight, not no. I don't know you, go about your day. Remove myself. The train coming, right? Here comes the train, pulling up. Choo choo. <laughs> the bitch got on the train, but she got on the back cart. I'm in the cart before her. They're just so happy to be two metro. Them two. Oh, they two was doing their job today. They was doing their. Oh, they was jobbing they today. They was jobbing. They was jobbing. They was. Okay. okay. One was, one was physically, now. another one was paperwork instantly. I said, y'all dynamic motherfucking duo, bro. Mm -hmm. Girl, no for real. They were like doing their shit. So anyway, treacherous. We on the train, right? Y'all know how people keep like going through like the fucking. I'm like, we talking to y'all, y'all. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's y'all. I'm it's interacting with y'all. It's my first time. Interact. First time where she popped my ball cherry. Y'all know how y'all hop onto the uh, train in between, right? Like you just go through the little doors and shit like that. She did that shit. Fat ass suitcase, everything. Just piled through that bitch though. Like, that was nothing. Big, big. Yo, she ain't even big and beefy, but her hands was like very bad. I don't know. She got mad. She got real masculine all of a sudden. So I said, oh. Oh, she hulked out. She, she, hulked. she hulked out. And I'm she looking hulked. like, calm she, she down, bro. Okay. So. She at the door, I'm on my phone, look up, I'm peeping scene, I'm peeping game, I'm seeing her come through, and I'm like, man, whatever, whatever, let me just ignore her. She's fixated on me, though. She's like, dead ass, like, you see her, and I'm just like, alright, alright, everybody see this shit. So the worker is peeping the scene instantly, he already peeped how crazy this bitch was. Man, she, uh, she must have started walking towards me. <laughs> on the train while the train is in motion towards Hollywood she uh she's walking towards me and I'm peeping so I put my phone in my pocket like I said I got my thing you know I got the little thing on block walls and I got my hat and I'm like all right cool like you so she go across me at the door she talking to herself in the fucking door she's like what's up yeah. nah so she's talking to herself at the door right mm -hmm. and she's like turn around She's like, oh, so you wanna fight? She did this shit again, right? Oh, so you wanna fight? And I looked at her, I said, now, I do not know you. I dead ass did, I said, I do not know you. Cause fuck you, bro, I'm not doing this. She's like, 
She's like, oh, so you don't know me. She turned right back around to the door. She's like, oh, so she don't know me. Like, also, I'm like, this bitch crazy. I can see it. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna leave you alone, cause fuck that. At this point, she turned around, she's like, so you ready? I'm like, all right, fuck it, bro. So I'm about to, what? I must have. Soon as I, here come this damn Metro that's watching this damn shit all this time, start coming up. And he's like, nah, nah. He like steps in front of me and her, cause she back there. And she's like, oh, so you want some of this too? <laughs> and he everybody looked at me. Catch the everybody man. catch the man. Everybody. Everybody. Ready to eat for everybody. Okay. So. Metro dude, Metro dude was like, you know her? I'm like, bro, I don't even know, lady. Like, I, I, well, I was, do I look does like Does he I not know analyze her? the situation? Did he not no. analyze the shit? First of all, she was in a whole other car. Came from point A to point B. Said, do you want to fight? With a suitcase. You got a backpack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, go off, sir. Not to be talking down on people, but obviously. They don't need your education it. skills to be that high to get this. Obviously not. Can you sign your name on a dotted line? That's all. <laughs> so yeah. He's like, alright. So he like he's, he's like, yo, step step over to the back for me. I'm like, what? He's like, no, nah, step over to the back for me. Like, I'm just trying to like, we don't need others. I'm like, alright, he right. So I know that nigga that bitch is not in her mind. Like I'm really thinking like this. I'm like, okay, she's not in her mind. Let me just y'all y'all don't understand. Some of y'all can be like, oh that's pussy. Cool. Hold that. I don't give a fuck. I feel like that's very, I'm knowingly that's spiritual, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm not even gonna interact with If y'all haven't been to anything. California and had your first encounter with a true specimen, because that's what I call them. They're not even crackheads and method, they're nah, specimens. That's a real they word. are lab created, they, they are they are AI generated type situations that be happening. But it's real. You cannot fault us. You cannot fault us at all. Until you experience it, shut the shut it. Just Man, be quiet. No, nah, for real, that shit different. It's it hit better different. Just leave it alone. People. It hit differently. I know I had in the best situation because you think I did not want it. Yeah, I'm telling you, it hit different, bro. It, it really did. But it's better to let that shit go. So I'm, I moved over to. It is what it is. Now this is where shit start turning around and really said, "Fuck, move it to the left." I moved to the damn left. So she stayed right where she is. Metro dude walking towards me. I'm like, alright, cool. I peep her though. Cause he started talking with her, his dumb ass, got the back turned to her, not even paying attention to what bra doing. I'm like, I'm peeping her, walking up, and I'm just looking, I'm just like, all right, here it is. Fire here it is, right here. You know that feeling when you, you just know, I'm like, here it is, this is it. Cause this, I ain't no moving, I'm here, that's it. Ain't no end of the, I'm not, fuck that. At this point, she, you know, dra dragging her. Nah, she dragging her. Spite, bitch. She's dragging her. Fucking. <laughs> bitch. Not the bitch. She's sick. Like, fight, bitch. I'm sorry. Oh, um, yeah, so where are we? Yeah, so he stepped. So I'm all right to the far left. The lady, at this point, dragging her suitcase with her. That's crack. Swing that motherfucker. And I said, oh, yeah. Crack box. Oh yeah, all right. Crap box is So I'm, I'm already like, all right, I'm waiting for her at this point. Right behind Metro, the Metro would not leave from in the middle of us, right? Fucking, uh, here she goes, she she babbling, she babbling, she babbling. Oh, that was a mosquito? And then as she, as she's like, yeah, you wanna, she goes, and Metro dude catches it, right? He's in the middle, so he catches that. But her shit's still a little bit coming. So that shit says, Oh, Neo in the I Matrix said, moment. Oh, don't. And right, she was right like, here. and then I was trying to, but y'all gotta remember, this is a big ass man. I'm five nine. That man was at least six three, and he not a skinny nigga. He was kind of beefy. So I'm trying to. Oh, they healthy. These these players out here, y'all. They they eat. They eating good out here. People would just go to a restaurant just because they see them online, and they would throw a whole meal. At me. These motherfuckers are strong. <coughs> so I. <laughs> from my left side and go round. Now I'm in the middle aisle of the train because you know it's like, some of y'all know you know how it is. I'm in the middle aisle. Dude trying to he wrestling with her, trying to get her. She starts swinging on him. Don't, don't, don't start come. She tried coming for me. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> what? I said, oh, and then she like, 
I'm like, on all right. By I, on <laughs> you know what I'm saying is. I'm like, all right, all right, like you. And then she trying to kick. I'm like, ah, oh, nah. I was kicked off because I got, I got my bubbles, grenades on, right? Mm -hmm. Damn, Rick and Mortis. But um, so I kicked them off. I don't give a fuck. You're not gonna catch you. Not gonna catch me. Fuck that. I'm not falling. That's why I always wear shoes on this bed. My, my dude be on me about that. I'm, yesterday yeah, I, I was in my vans, but I was like, nah, fuck it, I'll wear them. And you I almost put shoes, on my shoes. Your hoodie. Oh, I, I got my shit. Something flammable. I got that. An actual weapon. I got that. Oh, those are your always to do in a portable shark. That's always a actual thing. Oh, I got that. You got a portable now? Yep. Let's go. What? It just today I ain't got my shoes. Everything else was perfect, tip top. The shoes wasn't. Now they give a fuck. But that's the thing about me. If I'm gonna do it, regardless, I could be a hitless. But they coming off barefoot. I'm run. I'm. We're getting to it, and I'm not dropping. I'm prompt. That be very good shit. And I'm not supposed to. I've been doing good. Damn it. So I said, that's another reason why I gotta be smart. Uh, and this one I had to I tried to try to pick on it and said no and it kept choosing me so I had to interact with it so then after all that happened we finally get to the stop y'all gotta understand that whole time we're on a moving train so ain't nobody ain't failed on no train we both holding steady this is real shit happened. just but, like that one fight scene off the Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer movie they on top of the train just going but they weren't on top of the train they was in the middle of the train but same thing same thing right in the middle as, as it's going and if y'all know out in la that's that stop from fucking universal to hollywood is not a short stop that shit about four yeah, minutes long. no they say it's four minutes but i really think it's longer than that because they be hitting them curves mad slower now i think they do underground yeah man i'll be like, like eight uh, minutes when they do they be taking their time opening them fucking doors yeah but you already know how it is Girl, so all this time I'm coming from Universal, fighting this cracking <laughs> towards Hollywood. But we, and this might be my damn stop. I'm like, nah, fuck that bitch. I need a real beat out here now. I need a round two. They dragging her though. And the whole point how he, she got dragged, cause as she's trying to kick me and I back up, here this nigga from Metro come and take her and get her to some type of like, some type of shit. And she like fuck stuck. That. And she trying to swing, but she can't cause fuck she that. fucking pinned down. And he like, he like, yeah, though, he dragged it. Dragged her off the train, right? Then. Yeah, that shit. So anyway, by the time we got the train, she put him off. The other dude, like I said, it's two of them. So there's a black guy, big six foot, got her, already hemmed up. Got her. The little small, little Hispanic guy, little dude, little one. Yeah, he um, he gave me the number to lost and found, cause I didn't tell you what happened. Little side side story. Um, so I was at work or whatever at Dodger Stadium it was like my first day there and I had lost my keys there and then like on my third day there I went back to the same area that I had worked and I found them but I thought I had lost them on the train and I was like oh I'm just good as gone because I have a lot of things on my yeah. keys out they'll check your attention so yeah. luckily it was still there but anyway that's it yeah. so I recognized him I was just like why the fuck are you beefing with the little nigga <laughs> I, I thought that when I came up but he was cool with me no, but I it's just, you know, I explained to y'all what the fuck I was thinking when I came up. I'm gonna let Princess finish. Yeah, her, we almost um, to her, her, her part. So, my chapter. Yeah, her, <laughs> her, her, her part chapter gonna be nice. So, I end up still, you know, I end up uh, going to extra stop because I was heated. I'm like trying to grab my shit, so I end up needing to find my other shoe at this point while they already grabbed her off. I see them, right? I hop on the next, I hop off on the next stop. Hollywood and Vine, mm -hmm. right? Hopped off. Thank God the next train on Hollywood and Hollywood was coming right up in two minutes. Hopped back on that bitch and went right up there. I went right up the stairs because I didn't see nobody on the platform. I was looking up and down the platform, some more shit. Nobody went upstairs, got to street level, right? There, here come these two niggas talking to a whole bunch of other niggas. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, where that lady at? Where'd she go? And I, oh, well, she did, she took off that way. Um, we was trying to hold her back because, you know, we, we had to call the cops. I'm like, all right bro it was like yeah so at that point we're talking we're talking laughing oh yeah no 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 she gone she gone at this point i know she gone it's holly weird a whole bunch of other weirdos out there she's blending in and these cops don't give a fuck and let me tell you how i know they give a fuck 
this cop that was talking to me, the particular one that was talking, the one who was handing me the car when I was talking to you because I was purposely ignoring him anyway, that same one was purposely ignoring me, talking about, oh, so, like, what happened? As, after he asked that, every time I was telling him something about the whole story and everything, he's like, oh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, oh, okay, and then, oh, okay, uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> just, just not paying attention at all. I'm like, all right, bro. It's cool. All right, mate. It's cool. It's cool. I said, because when she go beat up the, uh, go over there and go beat up some, some random old lady, then what? Okay, like a That's a damn shade. They don't that here. She fought me. I ain't know the lady. She gonna go beat up some random old person. Just randomly just mad. Just. They don't do that. Bro, that's something I was princess got the squabbling with a crackhead. A crackhead. Now, while I'm listening to the details of the story, another crackhead walks up, unpertaining to this situation. She wearing some like some dupe version of the um, naked wolf velvet suede um, boots or whatever. A fucking black cape, a bald ass head. Bugged out eyes, a cig that was lit but smoked down to the filter, struggle time. God damn, she looked like she had veins or scalps, some scalp shit was going on. The bitch ain't had no teeth. But you gonna walk up to me and say, you was saying something. She was just like talking, just saying random shit. So I'm like, can you back up? Cause she getting closer and closer the more she said, but she, she getting closer to me. And she got one eye on me, but the other eye is roaming the whole group. I don't know what the fuck was going on. So I'm just, I don't know which I work, but I'm gonna be on alert. I don't fuck her ass up. So I'm like, can you back the fuck up before I smack the shell you? Because the first time I said it, she won't pay me the mind. Now the second time, I got a base up on you, so why the fuck are you getting closer still? She told me something. Do you want to fight? I was like, do you have a home? Have you ate today? She's like, do you? I was like, yeah, I got a home. I was like, do you get food? Did you eat today? She was like, fuck you, da 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 da. You want to fight me? I was like, fight me, bitch. So then the princess going to look at me. I was like, what's going on? Shut up. Oh, I'm Shut the fuck up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's why I swing. You swing that damn bruh. Bullshit after bullshit was happening today. I don't know what the fuck. It was like a WW linked up. Because I was already thinking about Princess today. But it was like crazy. Then her crazy ass gonna message me like two days ago. Tell my son what she doing in 22nd. I said, I don't know. What's up? Ain't get a response to the day in person. I suck at communicating. I let that be openly known. I do not answer my phone and I suck. I just suck. But I love y'all. And when I see you, if you're gonna feel that, you're gonna be like, she, she, I know what she fucking with me. She just suck at talking. I'm better in person. Yeah. Fuck. Y'all, I know y'all niggas alive. I watch y'all. Shit. Y'all watch me, I watch you. When she was with the police, I didn't know what was going down. The police <laughs> all had their back against me. They was only like looking at me, then looking away, right? Hold on. Let's focus on the smoke. Here we go. The police is like looked at me, then dismissed me. So I'm thinking, oh, all right, but <laughs> so I'm coming with the mink. <laughs> and what I mean by the mink, this this whole part of my arm, the length of this part, like from here to here, halfway, midway to my snake snake tattoo, it was on throat three niggas, about three to five niggas on gang, because they was they were small body, they was about my size. I was about to mink they shit. The other one, gonna catch his shoulder. The other, this, this was connected by like 10 motherfuckers. Random bystanders too. When I say I was going 
I don't know what was going on, but I was gonna be her scapegoat. I was like, I don't know what happened, so but I'm gonna punch the shit out of someone and I'm gonna, run, I'm gonna run back to the crib. Fuck it up. It was a random day of unfortunate events. I felt like Lemony Snicket in the game. <laughs> I ain't never burned. And it's so crazy for all this thing that happened. I already wanted to come and hang out with her, chill out with her, do with her. Like, we connected on the so crazy, spontaneous ass job. Bruh, fuck that job. Yeah, fuck that job. No, receptionist. But I'm outside. Like what? All right, I'm never this dark. We can, we can tell a story. We, we, we want to tell a story. All right. So I got a. I was on D, and D is a scam. <laughs> story time too, right? Y'all get two stories in one. Look at this. Boom. I'm on D. It says be a receptionist in the office, like setting with workers. You get your own little space, answer phone calls. You know, concerns, questions, and calls, all that good stuff. I'm like, oh, valid. I can do that. Done that before. I go to the interview, I'm thinking I'm gonna get asked interview questions. This man literally talked to me about cartoons. Afterward, he said, you know what, I like you. He <laughs> me up and said, you're hired. Be here tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. He said, no fucking way. <laughs> me, head scratch. What the fuck, but okay, cause first of all, I, I smoked before I came to the interview. I was high as gas, I'm just like, okay, I could just be imagining shit. The Zah was Zahn that morning. So I was like, you know what, okay. Fuck it. We're gonna see what happens the next day. So the next day I ain't show up for the um for the first day. But I showed up that following day. Bruh. Everyone was cool. We was in the office. He was like, Do you have tennis shoes? I'm like, tennis shoes? He was like, yes. He was like, hey, I got a shirt for you. Shirt. Ain't that my desk right there in the front in the lobby? <laughs> I'm scratching my head still. But I go with it. I'm like, fuck it. I see about a couple kin folk in here, kin folk, skin folk, whatever. I seen a couple of them in. I seen Princess. I seen the niche. I seen a couple people. So I'm like, all right. Can't be too bad. These motherfuckers here. All right. A job's a job, right? <laughs> Pay the bills by any means, right? <laughs> I go in, put the shirt on and stuff. They gave me a piece of paper. Say this. I'm thinking they about to pledge me into a coat. Bro, I'm over here head scratching for real. I'm like, okay, okay. These niggas sold they sold. That's what I'm thinking. I'm looking at princess. I'm like, oh, these niggas sold they sold. Okay, all right, valid, valid. No fucking okay. way, bro. No dead ass. I'm thinking this is. I'm looking up this shit right now so they can know really. What's no, going like on. I'm like dead ass thinking some Scientology shit. Like that's why I started thinking as soon as I got in there, and then especially when I met Andre, mm. he get like Al Roker vibes. Like after he he got small, but yo, it was just weird. He was like giving us a pitch, and I was like, oh, is this a pyramid scheme? Is this like some shit off of workaholics? I'm waiting for, waiting for like impractical jokers to come out. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher, <laughs> goddamn uh, Rob Deerdig. I'm waiting on that nigga. Somebody to come. Out. I'm with someone. Hell, Snoop Dogg. I'm waiting for somebody to come out. Like, make sure you guys have um, something. But no, we go outside. 90 degrees, we stand outside from sun up to sundown. Begging for money. It wasn't begging. We'll say, oh, this is for children with cancer. <laughs> Get the money for them. Bring it back to the office. And they pep talk you to go out there and hit a goal. That's pretty much impossible. Motherfuckers is broke and gotta wait till they pay day, but whatever. Get back, you don't make the quota. It was just a lot of shit. A lot of gab, gift the gab talking, a lot of a lot of jaw flapping that I didn't appreciate. And, and this motherfucker over here trying to keep my head up. I'm just looking at her like, girl, I'm going to throw punch you. Stop talking to me right now. Early in the morning, we just staring at each other. So you here, huh? You want to go over here? You here. Barely violent behavior. Yeah. I want that show so bad. Don't. I don't know if she watched my videos. <laughs> At least they don't know what we talk about. Yeah. Oh, God. I told you the first of many adventures. The dog races. Fuck that dog. 
the dog races stuff. It don't attack other people, but it, it, it bit my kneecaps twice. Oh yeah, this, this Your kneecaps? Here. Yeah, my kneecaps. He bit, he bit my kneecaps. Yeah, my notes. Um, still teabagging your mom. 